Hello, welcome to Goal School, and welcome back to another video on the channel. If you're going to enjoy, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comments because today we have to talk about the Championship Playoff Race. In this video, I'm going to be covering the teams from 5th place, which is West Brom, all the way down to 11th, which is Cardiff City, because uh, I don't think uh, anyone above West Brom is going to finish outside the playoffs. I think it's pretty nailed on, and they can even finish in the top two. And any sides below Cardiff, uh, I feel like I'm covering all bases, well, including Cardiff and Middlesbrough and Preston. Um, but any sides below Cardiff, I really can't see getting in the playoffs, let alone Cardiff themselves. So I thought I'd cover them just to be sure, but maybe a little bit too safe there. We're going to begin by having a look at the championship table by the side of me. So you can see West Brom in fifth, 66 points. Of course, they are seven points off Southampton above them and six points, uh, sorry, five points off Norwich below them. They are pretty, uh, you know, stable in fifth place. It feels like they've been there all season and I would expect them to finish there. But as we move down, Norwich, Hull, Coventry, Preston, and we're going to talk about Middlesbrough and Cardiff. However, it's very unlikely for them to finish in the playoffs because they need to win basically all their games and hope for the teams above them to slip up. Coventry, Hull and Norwich though are the three teams I really do think are in contention to finish in sixth place though this season. And we're going to have a look at the run-ins, how difficult each side's run-in is and what points per game has to say about this. As I mentioned, the teams above West Brom, Southampton, Ipswich, Leicester and Leeds. Of course, we're going to have to have two teams finishing the playoffs, of course. Uh, but at the moment, I don't know which two. And if you see my other video talking about the top two race, you'll understand I'm very torn on which way to go on it. So on screen now, you can see I've got a table to the side of me, the same one I used in my last video for talking about the top two. It's, of course, the league positions to play. So in this, you want a higher number, means an easier run-in. The lower the number, the harder the run-in. So as we look at West Brom, 118, uh, that's quite favourable. They really should be holding on to the playoff spot there and I can't see them slipping away. We will have a look at each team's actual run-in and the teams they play in just a second. But this I thought would be quite interesting to include. Now it is quite fascinating to look at Norwich, Hull and Coventry. All the very similar league positions to play. Um, so they're all going to be playing teams around the same area at different times of course. Uh, but 105, 103, 106 are very close. So they've all got a very similar chance of making it into the playoffs, despite Norwich currently being in sixth. Moving down to Preston, they've got quite a favourable run in as well, about the same as West Brom. And then we look at Middlesbrough, who have got 77. That means they've got a very, very tricky run in. We'll have a look in a second. And then Cardiff, 102, which is basically the same as Hull, Coventry and Norwich. It's just they are quite a few points away from those teams, which makes it quite difficult for them. So far, West Brom, their run-in contains Millwall away, which isn't an easy game. They're fighting for their lives at the den. But West Brom this season have been very good, uh, especially on the road as well as at home. So you probably would expect them to win that one. Then it's home to Watford, mid-table, not really playing for anything now towards the end of the season, just building towards next year. With new manager as well, Tom Cleverley in charge till the end of the season. Um, you know, it, it could go either way. So that one's going to be an interesting game. But you probably still would back West Brom to win it. Then it is Stoke away. Another team fighting for their lives at the bottom of the championship. Before home game against Rotherham. Rock bottom of the table. And I can't see them uh, surviving this season. I think they have given up hope themselves. Then it's another home game against mid-table side Sunderland before going away to two really tricky games in Leicester and Sheffield Wednesday. Leicester, of course, uh, trying to regain top spot. So that's not going to be easy, especially at the King Power. And then away to Hillsborough, where Sheffield Wednesday really do need the points. And recently they have picked up their home form. So that could be a sticking point for the Baggies when they go there and finish in the season at home to Preston, who... Want to try and get in the playoffs, of course. However, it does look a little bit unlikely because you look at their squad compared to the likes of Norwich, Hull, Coventry. It doesn't really match the firepower that them 
teams have. So it is going to be interesting for Preston. We'll move on to them in a second. But for West Brom, quite favourable. You probably imagine them to win all their home games uh, and probably two to three of their away games and, you know, a few draws in there instead of the wins as well. But, you know, the only the only real sticking point in there I see is probably lesser away and then draws potentially to a cure at Millwall away, Stoke away, Sheffield Wednesday away, depending which team out of them three really is up for it. If not all of the three, because all of them need points at the moment. North City now, their run-in contains a home game against Plymouth. You probably expect them to win that. Plymouth are in danger at the bottom of the table, but not in the relegation zone at the moment. Away to Leicester then, as we've just said with West Brom, that's not going to be an easy place to go as Leicester want to try regain top spot. Ipswich at home. Now, it is a tricky game. They're having a fantastic season, but it is a derby. So, absolutely anything can happen in that one. And away to Sheffield Wednesday, just like West Brom, which is going to be tricky. Away to Preston, same as West Brom. And then home games against Bristol and Swansea, mid-table sides. They'd expect to win them games. And then away to Birmingham on the final day of the season, which could be very tricky as they are trying to survive this season. So, Overall, you look at those games, you probably imagine them to win three of the four home games. Maybe Ipswich could be a sticking point, where they, maybe they draw. But away from home is where the tricky games really occur. I think the only nailed on win in the, the away games is Preston away. The other three, anything can happen there for Norwich. That certainly opens the door then for Hull and Coventry to go in. So have a look at Hull now. Their host, Stoke before going away to Leeds and Cardiff, before hosting Middlesbrough and QPR, going back away to Watford and uh, Coventry, hosting Ipswich and away to Plymouth. They have got a game in hand on Norwich, but looking at those games at home, you probably expect them to beat Stoke, Middlesbrough, and then QPR and Ipswich. I can probably see them getting draws in them. And then away from home, Leeds is very tricky. Probably beat Cardiff away, uh, Watford away and Plymouth away on the final day. It depends how much Plymouth need the points really because at home this season they have been a good side uh, and can win when they want to. It's just recently they really have fallen off. They might have a new manager in uh, the dugout by that point as well. Uh, and if it is Neil, Neil Warnock, you know, <laughs> three points Plymouth there. But on, in all honesty, that really is tricky. But the game I'm looking out for the most is that Coventry away game. That's absolutely huge. And whichever side wins in that one probably knocks the other one off a bit in their hope to finish in the playoffs. Of course, that is both of their teams' games in hand, Coventry and Hull. So Norwich, a bit lucky with that. Off to Coventry then, and they go away to the John Smiths on Good Friday to Huddersfield, who do need the points at the moment. They're in the relegation zone. And then they host Cardiff, host Leeds, away to Southampton, away to Birmingham, home to Hull, uh, away to Blackburn. And then the end of the season with two, two home games with Ipswich and QPR. Now, on paper, this does look quite favourable. However, we're at that time of the season, of course, I've mentioned a few times now, the teams need the wins at the bottom and they'll fight uh, relentlessly to get them. So no game really is nailed on, but... Looking at the home games for Coventry, you probably imagine them to win the Cardiff game. Uh, I don't think they get anything out of the Leeds game. Hull, that's a that's a huge, huge game to decide which of the two sides puts most of the pressure onto Norwich. Uh, and I think that one really could decide which, which of the two sides between Coventry and Hull makes the playoffs as they are the two closest teams to Norwich at the moment. And then Ipswich and QPR as well. Two really tricky games. However, they are at home. So you probably back them to get a win in one of those. Away from home, Huddersfield fighting for their lives. So that's really tricky. But you probably would just about go for Coventry in that one. Southampton away. I don't think they get anything there. Birmingham and Blackburn away. Two sides at the bottom of the table as well. Who really do need points at the moment. So nothing nailed on there. But you probably would back them for wins in both of them games. Off the press, and then they host Rotherham, which really is at this point of the season a nailed on three points because Rotherham, they look like they've given up a long time ago. Then Preston go away to 
Birmingham and Watford before hosting Huddersfield and Norwich. Um, another back-to-back uh, -back away games with uh, Southampton and QPR before going home to Leicester and finishing off with West Brom away. Out of those games for Preston, to get in the playoffs, they really have to beat Norwich in that massive game if they do want to end up uh, getting into the playoffs. Probably have to beat West Brom as well to make up a bit of ground as well as beating Rotherham, Huddersfield. I can't see them getting anything against Leicester at home, though, so they could probably uh, get a draw. Uh, and away from home, the big game against Southampton, can't see them getting anything away there. Birmingham fighting for their lives, QPR fighting for their lives, Watford mid-table, so you expect them to win that one. So Preston, a mixed bag there. It really just depends what Preston turns up, because so far this season, we've seen both sides of them. They've been really good to start off with and then they really did drop off and recently they've started to pick it back up again so Preston it is really down to them can they do it I don't think so I don't think they've got it in them but I'm all for them to prove me wrong off to Middlesbrough now um, as we did look at the uh, run-in it is Middlesbrough with the hardest run-in they go away to Southampton before hosting Sheffield Wednesday and Swansea out of the list, probably the easiest two games on paper, and then away to Hull, Ipswich, home to Leeds, away to Cardiff, home to Watford on the final day. Out of them, you look for wins at Cardiff, Watford, Swansea, and apart from that, really can't see Middlesbrough getting a win because Sheffield Wednesday at home this season have picked it up. Uh, since the new manager's come in. So, yeah, completely understand how that's a tough run-in. They play three of the top four in the final eight and uh, two sides near the bottom of the table in Swansea and uh, Sheffield Wednesday. So, not easy, but they do have a few winnable games in there. But for me, that's not enough to get them a playoff spot this season. And the final team we're going to talk about is quite, you know, generous putting them in this video, but it is going to be Cardiff. Uh, they host Sunderland before going away to Coventry, hosting Hull. That's already two teams that we've spoken deeply about in this video that really uh, have a good chance of getting sixth place this season. And then away to Birmingham and Mill Millwall before home to Southampton and Middlesbrough and finishing away at Rotherham. Looking at those games at home, we probably expect them to beat or draw to Cardiff. Uh, but if they're serious about the playoffs, they've got to beat, I'd say, Coventry, Hull, Sunderland, Rotherham, Middlesbrough, Millwall, Birmingham, and then just get someone against Southampton if Cardiff want to get in the playoffs. But for me, that's a massive challenge for them. Um, I can't see them winning many of them games. Maybe Rotherham, Sunderland and Birmingham, I can see them winning. That's about it for me. So Cardiff, I've included you in the video. Um, but that's as far as it goes. On screen now, you can see the expected points per game from this season. So overall, this season, this is the points expected for each team to end up with come match week 46. So West Brom are expected to finish with 80 points comfortably, 13 points off Southampton, so won't be touching them, uh, but equally six points off Norwich in sixth, uh, so comfortably in fifth. Moving on to sixth place, Norwich. They are expected to finish there. Just two points ahead of Hull and three points ahead of Coventry uh, and five points ahead of Preston to slip off a bit. So really is quite interesting there to have a look at the expected points per game and if that was carried out of, over a full season. And looking at, at it, Middlesbrough and Cardiff to finish in the same places as they are and quite a distance away from the playoffs. Cardiff to finish 10 points away from the playoffs uh, but Hull and Coventry it's going to be really difficult to decide if one of them gets it or if Norwich hold on to it. The table you can see beside me now shows the reverse fixtures uh, so for example if we took all the fixtures from the season every team's played each other once if we filled them in for the teams that they haven't played twice now this is how the table would look come match week 46 so West Brom and Norwich once again would finish in the playoffs. Coventry two points off as well as Hull. Uh, Cardiff seven points off this time instead of ten. But really, you look at Hull and Coventry still, they are the closest two. Uh, and Preston to drop off quite a bit as well in this table.
And finally, we're going to have a look at the points per game from 2024. So this is just from the turn of the year. We've played 13 games this calendar year. Majority of the teams have. So if we're taking that points per game and adding it on to the final eight games, this is how the table will end up. So we'd have West Brom 80 points, Norwich 77 points and Coventry missing out in the playoffs on 75 points, which is very, very interesting indeed. Hull 71, Preston 70 and then Cardiff and Middlesbrough uh, quite a distance off. Cardiff would miss out on 30, by 13 points in the end uh, should they should this uh, actually happen so it, it looks really harsh on coventry there 75 points and not even making it into the top six but of course this season has been very competitive and i think that is evident to show well then guys that is the top six discussion hopefully you all enjoyed it let me know in the comments who is going to finish in the top six for me i will leave my predictions uh, at the end of the week because I'm going to predict the full table for the one last time for the season. Uh, so keep your eyes out for that one. But I'm interested to see who do you guys have in finishing in the top six this season. Do let me know in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one very soon, guys. Take care. Good. Bye.